What's up, Techno here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Discord SRV. Discord SRV is a simple plugin for linking in game chat and a Discord server. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section, select the Spigot tab, and search for Discord SRV one word. Simply install the latest version and restart your server when it's done. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Before we get to configuring the plugin, we need a Discord bot. Head across to the link in the description down below to create one. Simply sign in with Discord and then click New Application in the top right. Then simply give it a name. The name doesn't really matter. I'll call it Techno MC. Then on the left hand side, click Bot and then Add Bot. Then Yes. Now we've successfully turned this app into a bot. If you would like, now's a good time to set a profile picture for the bot to use by clicking this image. All that we need to do here is click the copy button right underneath the token section and we'll be pasting it into the plugin's config file. Note that while we're on this page, you have to scroll down until you see server members intent. Simply click the checkbox next to it and click save changes for the bot to start working later on. Locate the config in the plugin folder. Open config.yml and at the very top at line 5, you should see bot token colon bot token inside of quotation marks. Inside of these quotes, simply paste in the bot's token. Save the file and then head across to your Discord either through the downloaded application or through the web version. If you don't already have a Discord server, you'll need to create one. First, we'll be inviting the bot and creating the necessary channels for it. We need at least two text channels one for console and one for our in-game chat. I'll create that now. Then in user settings in the bottom left, head down to the appearance section, scroll down to the very bottom and simply make sure to turn developer mode on. Then you can close out of settings and open up service settings. We'll be creating a bot role for the server. Head across to the roles section, new role if you don't already have a bots role, and I'll be giving it server admin at the very bottom of this list, meaning that it'll have every permission necessary. We'll be giving this to the bot when it joins our server. Next up, simply right click the channel that you'd like in-game chat to go to, for me, in-game chat, and then simply click copy ID. You'll only see this if developer mode is turned on. After copying it, head back across to your server pro dashboard and open up config.yml once again. Locate channels global on line 11 and replace these zeros next to it with the ID that we just copied. You can have more than one channel here if you'd like. Then we'll be getting the channel ID for the console. Head back to your Discord, right click the console text chat channel and then click copy ID. Again, we'll be pasting it in right below, replacing these zeros here, but making sure to leave the quotation marks on either side. After doing this, we should have successfully configured our bot. Simply click Save File and head back to the Discord bot development page. Back to here. Then head across to the General Information tab at the very top and click Copy underneath Client ID right over here. Now we'll be inviting the bot to our Discord server. In the description down below, you'll find another link, scars.me slash authorize. Simply click anywhere on this page and hit Ctrl V to paste or whatever your hotkey is. Then we'll be inviting it to the correct server and clicking authorize. After confirming that we're human, you'll be able to close this tab and you'll see the bot has joined your server. Then make sure to find the bot on the list of members in the server we'll simply be giving it the bot's role to give it access to all of these channels. From here, you can head back to your Server Pro dashboard and restart your server for changes to apply. Next up, I'll go ahead and join my Minecraft server. From here, I'll say something in chat. Let's go have a look at our Discord server once again. There we go. Server has started, Techno joined the server, and Techno said hello. If you were to type a message here, Send it, look back into Minecraft, you'll notice Discord, followed by our roles, our name, and our message. Looking back at Discord again, we also have new messages in the console section. Inside of here, we have a whole bunch of messages here from the service console itself. Awesome, everything's working as we expect. On top of this, you can head back to your Minecraft and type in slash Discord, space, followed by link, and hit enter. As you can see, it gives us a link code 
what we have to do is PM the bot on our Discord server containing this code as a message to link our Discord and Minecraft accounts to stop duplicate messages being sent. Every player should do this at some stage. So I'll simply message the bot 4693. There we go. Your Discord account has been linked and it's linked in game. But anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!